everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to do a Create With Me. I've been um, wanting to do some pockets to have ready uh, to put in my journals. So I thought today I'd just jump on here and we'd create a couple um, together. Uh, this is just using um, some book page cardstock and running it through an embossing machine. And then I've added a little bit of um, fabric and then a small tag, a little bulb pin, and an eyelet, and then this is some um, this is some lace that I've got. So, anyways, well, let's just get started. I've got um, first thing I'm going to do is I've cut out um, the cardstock, and this one, you know, it's going to vary on each person's journal, but I've done these at about four and a half by four. And then I've cut this little indention out because I think it's easier to get your journal cards and tags out if you have that. And I think it adds more interest to it as well. So this size, uh, like I said, it's about four and a half by four. I cut that and then um, this is these Anna Griffin embossing folders, which I love to use because I, I just think the designs on these are beautiful. Raise that slightly so you can see. Okay, I'll set this out of the way. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'd have to say um, for those of you starting out. Crafting, I think the Big Shot, uh, or I can't speak of any other um, embossing or cutting machine because I've never used anything except the Big Shot, but I think that's probably the best tool I've got in my uh, stash. They're a little bit pricey <coughs> if you go out to the shop and buy them, but it's a really good investment because... Um, you know, I know Tuesday morning gets in a lot of embossing folders, Tim Holtz, and they're very inexpensive. But um, just check. I don't know in the U.S. I know since I've come back to England, there's a lot of supplies on Marketplace. So, you know, if you don't want, just keep an eye out because a lot of people get into it and then change their minds. So you might pick up one on Marketplace, um, inexpensive. But like I said, I, I just think, you know, craft supplies are expensive, but I think that is probably um, one of the best purchases you can make because it does give you so much um, to work with. Um, you've got the embossing, then you can do the <coughs> die cuts with it. It's just a great, a great um tool to have in your in your stash. Alright, so anyways, I what I've done is, you know, just ink that and distress it because it does pull that design out more once you've done that. And then I'm just using this little garden flowers book because I the sizes are just perfect for something like this. Um, so I don't know, I'm just gonna I'm trying to that's pretty. I'm gonna put that one in there. Let me just tear this out. It's always more difficult to tear them when they're on this side of the. Um... I should have just cut that out, but anyway. Oh, I do like that image. And then it's got the little drawing beside it, so that's really sweet. So yeah, I just wanted to do something really simple um, and try to start using my um, die cuts a bit more because <clears throat> I really loved the pockets I did a while back where I had used the little um, Tim Holtz wildflowers. So I'm going to try to spend some time... Um, using up my cardstock and get those pre-cut and put them in a um, folder so that they're ready to use. So 
So before I put that on, I'm just going to ink around the edges of the page slightly. And this is just uh, telling about the flower, and I thought that was nice to have on here as well. I'm going to use the wet glue because um, since that's been run through that embossing machine, I find the um, glue stick doesn't hold it as well. I don't know about you guys, but I find um, I'm finding um, you know there's so many between Instagram and YouTube. There's so many awesome ideas for pockets and tags, and I'm really, really finding it difficult in my mind to. Um, focus on what to start on and I don't know if that's just me or if, if anybody else finds that um, which is a reason I've consciously decided this last week to step away from Facebook and Instagram and I haven't been on YouTube very much either um, because I'm sometimes I just find it's overwhelming with ideas the amount of ideas that are coming through and um, I don't know if anybody else struggles with that or not. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, I, uh, I feel really overwhelmed sometimes. Because, you know, I've got the nature of I want to try so many things. Now this is one of the little die cuts from Tim Holtz. I think I'm going um, to incorporate that on the side here because that, well... Yeah, I think that would be really pretty along there. And I've already, I had already inked this up, so. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I haven't been that active um, on anything, because I've just, um, I feel like I need to step away and think about my own ideas, because it's, <laughs> there's too many people out there um, and I can't keep up with it. Maybe um, this is where, if I was more organized, it would probably benefit me to get a notebook or something to write down. It's another reason I started that journal, to try to put my own ideas into it <clears throat> so that I'd have a reference to go back to because you know, when you're starting on a journal and you have to stop and try to go through your folders and find things, it's just too much. Um, because <laughs> if yours are like mine, I've got hundreds of things saved. And it's just, I never seem to get around to doing them, which is really pathetic. But <laughs> that's another confession of a crafter, I think. Um... Okay, this one I think I'm going to do a little bit different. Let me just um, grab some phrases quickly. Okay, so I'll share these with you guys because I've just purchased these from Amity Bloom. Um, it's her sentiments and phrases, and I am crazy over this set. Um, she's on Etsy. I'm not going to provide a link, but um, if you're interested, just go to her shop and you'll find them. I love these because it's, you know, seeds to happiness, seeds of growth, seeds of love, and I've 
think this one was Seeds to Bloom. I love I just love it now. I think, I think I'll save that one. That says her heart bloomed sunflowers so she could always face the light. I'll save that and use that with a sunflower image. It says last year was growing, but this year is for blooming. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to put that on this one instead. So this is a great, um, I highly recommend this little kit, guys, because um, you know I, I'm always looking for phrases to go in my journals. And um, there's not a lot of um, folks doing them, I don't think, or at least I'm not finding them. So if you guys can recommend any more, um, that would be amazing because I love to have little things to read. Um, going through a journal. I just think it adds a lot. That's not straight. That's going to bug me. <laughs> see if I can straighten that up. That's the only thing I have noticed. I don't think they've printed out exactly straight. So for somebody like me, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, let me sit these over. So yeah, I'd highly recommend those guys if you're wanting to add something really sweet to your journals. I like watching uh, Nancy. She's just such a sweet, positive person. Um, I don't get enough time to watch her, but oh gosh, she's just adorable. Absolutely adorable. And she you can see she's she's like the rest of us. She just gets so excited with um creating and I I really enjoy seeing um people on here that are like that because it's just such an enjoyable way to spend time. Uh I can't really understand anybody not, but I know, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't. It's not their thing, and it's great that we're all different, isn't it? So that, here's, here's a close-up. It's just got a lot of interest, I think, because you've got the texture going on in the background, and then you've got the die cut. These are going to be really pretty in a little um, garden journal. So, let's see, do I want to add any? I'm afraid it's going to get too busy if I add anything on this one, so I'm actually happy with that, guys. Okay, so that's how, you can see how simple those are to make. Um, now this one, what I did, <coughs> just, I've been saving all my um, <coughs> little scraps, because I need to start making some more snippet rolls. I've been getting through mine with all my um, tabs. So, I just thought, oh gosh, you know, I'm just going to start cutting out little, little squares, I think, and just clipping them on. So, this is another thing I think I'm going to try to do when I'm watching TV with my little scrappy bits. I think those are going to be really pretty. And then, <clears throat> thinking about Amity, so, um where she did that postcard and made a little stamp. Wouldn't that be sweet? I could just do a little... In fact, let me just do that real quick. I've got this little... Um, I'm sure I've got a single stamp somewhere, but oh gosh, who knows where that would be. So I'm just going to do a stamp on that and see how that looks, because I'm thinking that would be a really cute little... Um, stamp on a postcard, so. Oh, I love that. Look. Okay, well let's just, since we've gone this far, let me just go ahead and get a, a postcard out of my stash and we'll just attach that quickly. Here we go. I 
<laughs> I'm always complaining about my scissors and glue. But I was just about to say these are another dud pair of scissors I'm going to have to replace soon. I've got I've got the Tim Holtz, you know, the really wide thumb scissors. They're on their way and doggone it. I didn't I wasn't paying attention. I ordered them. And after I ordered them, it said it's coming from the US. And I thought, oh no. Because when it comes from there, yeah, she might be a month before you see them. But anyways, let me just share with you guys. I purchased these under somebody's recommendation, and I absolutely love them. They're the Fiskars Easy Action. Because I told you when I was at night when I was sitting down, I love my little Stampin' Up ones. But after a couple of hours, um, man, it really wears on your your fingers so somebody recommended these and I am crazy over these so I'd highly recommend anybody that um, does a lot of fussy cutting or maybe you are starting to have some issues with your hands give these a try because they are amazing scissors um, in fact I'll put a link to my shop below because um, those are really nice ones Okay, back to this. I'm totally distracted, as you can see again today. <laughs> um, so, that's my thinking on that. And you know what might even be pretty is just... Let me just run this through the machine. I'll be right back. I'm going to stitch this and see how I like it. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I hope you can see that. Let me try to hold it. Let that camera... So, sorry about that. I've noticed in my videos I'm saying so all the time. So, <laughs> I'll try to stop that. I My conclusion is, I think black thread is going to really suit this. How cute is that? I love this. Love, love, love. And that's an Amity Bloom inspiration right there. So, I think, uh, there goes so again. Sorry. What I think I'm going to do is cut out a bunch of these, stamp them ready, you know, in my world where I actually achieve all of these things. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to have thousands of these in preparation all made. Oh, gosh, if only, if only I could do a fraction of what I think I can in my head, but... I hope you guys like that. This was certainly not planned, um, but you can kind of see how cool is that going to be in a, because um, I'm, I'm telling you, after those three journals, um, my garden journals, I'm totally hooked. Um, and I'm just super duper excited to, um, to start making some more because it was interesting that was a five signature and I told you guys the last time I made a five signature I said oh I won't be doing this for a very long time and I had no intentions of it but um, I don't know something just really clicked with me and I just absolutely loved um, how those came out and now I'm just gung-ho to get started on some more um, oh I just, I love that. love how that's come out. Okay, so one last thing, guys, and then I'm going to stop because I know I've just been rambling on today, and I'm really sorry about that, but um, yes, 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 yes. Yesterday, I felt really bad because <clears throat> what had happened, let me show you guys. You know the little um, tags that I put in the journals that were um, this embroidery transfer sheets, right? Well, I scanned them, and I messed around with this far too long. Uh, and in the end, I just gave up on it. So I felt really bad because a couple of people said, well, where's the freebie? So I do apologize. I did everything I could, guys, to try to make this a uh, download um, that you could enjoy, but it's it's terrible. So what I've done today, and I hope you guys will like it, I've created um, I've created some other tags for you guys to download. <clears throat> These are the originals. 
So these are all ready, um, you know, for my garden journals. I'm going to start me a little basket, you know, in, in my organized room. <laughs> um, so it says, see the beauty around you. <clears throat> these are all Amity Bloom downloads, by the way. Uh, find your happiness and grow. And appreciate what you have. Let me just show you guys. So I made these. And these are some um, cardstock that I've had in my stash, and they are beautiful. Um, let me just grab that because I know somebody's going to ask. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. It's um, Linda Wood. Can see that. I don't know if that's the front. I probably don't have the front cover anymore. I don't. Uh, da, da, da. It's trim craft. So that's the um, papers, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if they're still available or not. Oh, here we go. Pretty posy. That's it. Because my uh, shop went out of business and so I got these half off which was a jam up deal because those are most of them are double sided there's some single sided but most of them are double so anyways um, yeah I've lost my train of thought again then I took um, some Edith Holden I love in the back of her books where you can get the um, flower name I just love that so then I just made it like a, a focal point and then I added the sentiment. So having said all of that, this is um, the link will be below and I will mark it as freebie because there's really no other links I need to put in today. Um, and this is how they'll print out. Now I will say when I printed it out I put it under um, the default I put under color fine I don't know if your printer will have that. It probably will because I've got a very basic HP printer. And this is how they came out. Now this was just on, just for me to test it, this was on um, copy paper. But when these are printed on cardstock, they should come out nice. But anyways, it's just some uh, another little thank you for you guys. And I do apologize that I wasn't able to offer what I said I was going to yesterday. But they just um, just weren't working and I don't know why. Probably me. I told you I'm not very good with um, that kind of stuff. But anyways, that's just a little thank you for you guys. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's Create With Me. And I will be back next week with another one. So you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you back soon. Bye.